So welcome everybody. It's a real pleasure and honor to stand on this stage. My name is Peter Opperman, founder of the Future Self Institute. I want to start with a quote by Ilya Prigogin, Nobel Prize winning systems thinker. Uh, he said that when a system is far out of equilibrium, and I think we may be able to agree that we live in such a time where our systems are way out of whack, deeply unsustainable, that in those times of chaos, it's the islands of coherence, islands of alignment, islands of a new dream, a new state of consciousness, have the capacity to elevate the entire system to a higher order, to a new order. And I believe that we, as a collective, have that capacity. I got to know some of you over the past hours and yesterday and got a sense of the genius, the potential, the leadership, the creativity, the power and the, really the willingness to work towards a new paradigm shift with the help of AI is present in this room. And that's my journey that I want to guide us Today, in a collaborative way, we're actually going to create some AI art together with a proprietary AI image generator that we have created as an interface between consciousness, our dreams, our aspirations, our intuition, our inner knowing, our wisdom, our potentiality of envisioning our future world together. So, little spoiler alert, I'm not going to tell you about the future world. It's literally, it's a collaborative co-intelligence exercise. A playful endeavor to envision a possible future. And then we are going to actually create an AI art gallery that we're going to share throughout the conference and have some of you share about what you discovered on your journey that I'll be guiding us. Um, so a few words about um, the conversations that we have had. Uh, Jay Golden yesterday spoke it so beautifully that the most powerful way to influence a system, a community, a culture, is by changing or changing the narrative of our worldview. And I believe that we live in such a time, in a time of a renaissance, where an old system is dying and a new one is being born. And we happen to, I would say, consciously choose to incarnate, to be leaders in this time of transition. I believe otherwise we wouldn't be having these conversations. Now, we are all here to contribute in our unique way to this new emerging regenerative paradigm. I think it's the most exciting time to be alive. And I also believe that people like us, let's look around, there's not a lot of diversity in the room. People with privilege, with resources, with education, with networks, we have a responsibility. You know, with privilege comes responsibility to take risks, to follow that we know what's inside of us and leave behind old fear-based thinking and narratives. And through storytelling, through a compelling new narrative, we can actually move forward. And the way I believe we can move forward is to honor a shift. And when we look at Mother Nature as the most brilliant designer of systems and of change processes. One of the core narratives that we can observe in nature is the story of metamorphosis, where an old system, let's say from a caterpillar, instead of becoming a better caterpillar, is actually going through a death and rebirth process to become a beautiful butterfly. And thinkers, thinkers like Daniel Schmachtenberger and many of the thinkers that I happen to follow seem to agree that there's one 
underlying narrative where the old system that is exiting is a worldview, a dream of separation, that we live as separate being in a potentially hostile environment where we have to fight and compete for scarce resources. And that narrative has brought us to, we, to where we are, to the brink of destroying the very planet that we all depend upon. And the new emerging consciousness, and we have some wonderful conversations just hosted by Maya and many others, the new emerging consciousness is that of oneness or interconnectedness as Thich Nhat Hanh and in the Buddhist psychology, it's a beautiful understanding how life is interconnected with everything. We are inseparable from the whole. And that is an underlying narrative also for regeneration. Regeneration means that instead of being extractive polluters, we can become life affirming contributors. We can become ancestors future generations can be proud of. Where our own interest is as deeply, intimately connected to the interests of future generations to come. So how can we move through life? How can we design businesses, organizations with that kind of awareness? It's actually very simple because that is who we truly are. You know, we are both separate, beautiful, brilliant individuals and we are equally one and unified at the same time. We just haven't gotten used, or we haven't got the memo yet. We are still so embedded, entrenched in the old paradigm of separation. So this exercise that I want to, or this playful AI journey that I want to take us on is an attempt to see what it's like in a room full of awakened, conscious, caring, intelligence beings, what it would be like together to tap into a state of super intelligence. Imagine that the collective intelligence and awareness and care that's present in this room, if we get into a state of unity, like a toroidal field, and then venture out into the world of infinite possibilities, capture sh solutions from that quantum field that we are all a part of and then bring it back into the now and let AI help us to capture that what we perceive in the future. So that's the journey I want to take us in a moment to get into a state of coherence together where we can honor or maybe even try it out or even just suspend our skepticism. You know, this sounds maybe a little woo to some of us. Totally understood. I'm an engineer from fucking Germany. Imagine, you know, I'm, <laughs> I was trained to design cars and diesel engines and two-stroke stuff. I, you know, I was really good at taking my moped apart and putting it back together and got my hands greasy and said, that's the tech that I want to bring into the world to save the world. But, you know, we're now having way more technology available to us. So for those of the skeptics in the room, a warm welcome. I used to be one of you. Um, so just the graceful invitation to suspend your disbelief for the duration of this journey together and just to see it like, what would it be like if it's true that we are one and that we can actually together create a more powerful, forceful field together. And that may very well be the one chance that we have as a species to honor that reality, that we are just one species, one organism, as well as beautiful individuals at the same time. It's a paradox, beautiful paradox. You know, wisdom, truth usually appears in paradoxes. It's not logical. So I invite you to take your phones out and scan this QR code. It will give you access to our AI image generator that we will use in a moment. 
and that will also allow you later to upload your image into our conference AI art gallery. How does that sound so far? Anyway, am I far off here or are you? Who's with me like with that kind of thinking? Awesome, okay, appreciate it. All right, friends, so I invite you to make yourself comfortable as we are venturing into the future together. Shift mics, maybe we can dim the light. So, once again, welcome. These are binaural beats. Can help our brain to shift into a theta brainwave state. So I invite you to close your eyes. and turn your attention inward. Allowing the sound waves to wash through your being. I invite you to connect with your breath. Simply feeling the natural rise and fall of your chest and abdomen. Gently start to deepen your breath, take a deep breath in and a long breath out. With each exhale, shifting your nervous system into a state of balance. Synchronize our breath as a community for a few rounds. Together, let's take a deep breath in and then hold your breath at the top. And exhale with a sigh. One more time, deep breath in. Hold it and release. One last time, deep breath in. Squeeze your face as if you're biting into a lemon. Shrug your shoulders, make two fists. And then let it all go. Beautiful. Now keep breathing in this way. As you exhale, allow your face to soften. As you exhale, drop and release your shoulders. As you exhale, allow your whole body to relax. Maybe add a micro smile to both corners of your mouth. As your body relaxes, also let your mind relax. Each thought. 
like a leaf drifting in the wind, landing on a wide river. Moving away. Now gently bring your attention to the bottom of your feet. And imagine you are growing roots into the earth like a tree. Feeling your connection with your planet, Earth. Where you are safe, supported, and nurtured. Extending your root system to your neighbors and their neighbors. Like an underground mycelium network of interconnectedness. a window at the top of your head that you can open wide. Extending the space of your awareness. Way beyond your physical body. shared space of this room with everyone else present and imagine we are sitting in a large circle around an ancient mother tree. See that tree or simply think it's there. With deep roots, Leaving your old familiar self behind. Any old beliefs about not feeling worthy, not good enough, let all of that go. Like a shell that's no longer needed. As you walk towards this mother tree, all of a sudden it's turning into a time portal, a gateway into the future. And 
as you step through that portal, you're stepping into a world of infinite possibilities. The world of the future generation living in harmony with our planet is already here right in front of you look around and notice what you see What is the environment like? The colors that you see. The details. You're entering in a particular scene. where you are interacting in this world of regeneration as a leader, a co-creator, expressing your unique contribution. Allow that scene to crystallize in front of you. How are you expressing yourself? serving what type of positive impact are you having what's your ROI your ripples of impact how that makes you feel. Now quantum leap forward into a peak moment of success, of accomplishment. where your role as a leader has come to full expression. Immerse yourself in that scene. the setting, the surrounding. How are you collaborating with others? Sharing your unique contribution. Regenerative future who are other people who may be present allow the
the scene to become even brighter and clearer. one unique detail. Now take a screenshot of this pivotal moment cinematic moment, getting clear on the surrounding, the main person, other people, and a unique detail. your inner vision, describing it in the dialogue. So slowly, I invite you to stay in this meditative state, bring yourself back into this room, we are venturing back from the quantum field back into this physical space and take your phone and either rescan the code or open your browser and start to prompt that vision of a peak moment that you just saw again to regenerate a new image until you find one that you like. When you found one that you like, you can press and store it on your phone and please upload it into our event gallery. to describe your scene.
generating first images are coming in from our collective consciousness envisioning our future some images that they liked a representation of their vision and so on. Okay, awesome. Beautiful representation of the mother tree here. generating and here literally is an example how AI can be an ally, a co-creator to envision a future world, literally taking our intuition of what's possible and making it memorable to catch it in real time and then allow us to tell stories, to remember our vision and tell stories to ourselves and each other to change our dream, to change the narrative, to change the conversation about what's possible. If enough of us come together and act on our dreams with the help of AI. So, is anybody would like to share about what they just saw? Something that moved you, that inspired you, that you saw? in a possible future. Um, anybody would like to come forward and tell their story? Who would like to go first? I know it's uh, maybe a little bit intimidating, but a great opportunity also to um, actualize your dream by giving it language and being witnessed. Awesome, please, would you come forward? Courageous being. <laughs> Use this one. It's an intimate share um, because we're in high states of visioning, but uh, what came through was a lot of beautiful golden light and then 
just the act of how are we creating our personal life and our families to create a culture for this larger planetary vision that we're working towards. And so rather than seeing the entire planet and restoration and regeneration, instead I saw beautiful conscious conception and uh, that is so mirrored in the planting of seeds and a garden and a bountiful garden and a family developing. And within that space, um, being within a beautiful geodesic dome with a large window overlooking gardens and having a child in that space and having a large writing desk and just the ability to go all the way inward to finally cultivate um, everything that you know I've been internally studying and weaving and letting that come out uh, through the natural birthing process of a, not only a child but through creativity. And I really hope this art generates because I'd love to see what it creates. <laughs> What's your name again? Marley. Let's just for a moment close our eyes and put our attention to Marley and her dream. There's a power in us coming together. If you're supporting Marley in her vision, the quantum understanding, what you are sending out, you're actually sending to yourself. So let's elevate Marley's dream co-creative effort and notice how good that feels. Beautiful. Thank you, Molly. Awesome. Um, who else would like to share? Uh, maybe someone who had their image uploaded. Please. Hi. What's your name? Cyrus. Cyrus? Awesome. Do you see your image? So. Okay. Amazing. Cyrus, you are of the future. So I probably went a little more practical because my head started to go towards hunger and then basic income and I just started kind of trying, uh, trying to solve the problem in my head, I don't know, that's kind of where I led as I was relaxing. Um, and as I was thinking about it, I just thought like, why does it have to be money? And I was like, why can't we just give everyone food? And it was like basic health. So I was like, why? Because I, I, I guess partially I've been thinking a lot about hydroponics in general um, with food and this kind of came up of having these kind of silos all over the world. So it was very practical. It kind of came up and was just like, why? How do we give everyone food and kind of preserve nature and just go, um, I don't know. I had this idea of just big, deep silos all over that we could feed people and give them free food. That was it. Beautiful. Thank you, Cyrus. Again, let's send our collective intention to this beautiful project. Imagine it's already here. Because in the quantum field, by definition, anything is possible and already exists as a potential. Okay, here's another cylinder. Anyone else would like to come forward? Okay. Sure. Do you have an image that? I just uploaded. Just the one that you were doing, right? The one with the fire and the second one, right? Okay. Please introduce yourself and what did you see? Thank you. Howdy, folks. I'm Yosua. It's the beep boop bop is loading, but I'll just begin by sharing that um, one of the first animal guides to come to me in Ireland was um, uh, Elij, which is Irish for deer, for doe. And the doe is a deep animal guide who comes to me in journey work. And she gave me this image a while back, and with the help of this, they kind of help come to life more. 
So somewhere in the Cascade Mountains, an eco village, one of several in the local bioregion. Um, beautiful lake nourished by the snowmelt of the mountains. And we're gathering um, in the central kind of fire pit of the village. And what came to me was this, like, the fire keeper being this um, the central figure of this woman with the flowing silver hair. And she's helping stoke it and getting it go as we're entering this liminal space of um, time as the sun sets below the mountains in the west. And it's funny because uh, my original prompt was 12 elders, um, from, including elders from this village, other villages in the bioregion, and, and a special guest elder. I didn't know who that was, but maybe it is her. And I said that 120 villagers around the elders and the, the villagers became mushrooms, which I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> so, thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Let's also bless this vision as it's, it already exists in a strange way. Beautiful. Let's hear from a few more stories. Who would like to share theirs? Please. How's this going so far? Is this kind of an interesting application of AI? Not bad, huh? Cool. Um, where's your image, dear one? Sorry? Which one is yours? This one? Okay. Okay, it may take a moment to upload. Thank you. Um, the image was so beautiful and it gave me the courage to come up. So um, I envision in the future we'll all enjoy the nature, enjoy the inner child in ourselves. Um, to me, I want to bring joy to the world. And I wish in the future there's joy, sparks of joy everywhere. And we're able to play um, like how we were when we were children and also how we are now, right now, to experiment with different things and also connect with each other. And yeah, I just love this picture so much. So, thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Again, let's, for last time, close our eyes and together see that vision into reality. Somewhere it already exists in a regenerative future. And in the next step, there are ways how AI can actually help us to actualize our dreams, to tell these ephemeral stories in a powerful way. As we are sense-making beings, we make sense through the stories we tell ourselves. So the first step is to generate a powerful narrative then identify who are the people we are serving and then to build products and services around that to serve. Which will be the topic of my afternoon workshop. Um, I heard we are wrapping up. Okay, beautiful. Uh, just to let you know, there was um, initially also a breakout session planned to kind of bring us together into like-minded groups around um, that, um, the sectors of the conference. So we have the sectors of arts and culture, learning, education, local economy, food, art, ag, health, wellness, and climate biodiversity. So maybe that's something that you can take into your lunch break to have this conversation about what is my contribution to a regenerative future. Thank you all so much for
joining me on this exploration, utilizing AI as an interface of consciousness in the pursuit of creating a regenerative future. Thank you all so much.